everybody, welcome back to the channel and the first episode in my new Rogue Tech series. It's so new that I haven't even decided on the name of it yet. So you'll see the title and you know what the name is, but I don't know because I haven't created it yet. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a society start. Uh, and if you're not sure what that is, you can look it up on um, uh, the Rogue Tech, or the, uh, sorry, the Battletech Wiki, Sarno.net. But I'm not using the society start in that manner. I'm using it as a, the units in the mechs are inheritance. So we're starting at 3068, so it's just during the Jihad era. And the character that's going to be the lead character in this is has in, just inherited a few vehicles and some mechs from um, their family inheritance. Originally, they were trying to go it alone. They had their own mech, um, which we haven't got yet. I haven't advance the timeline one day. So that's going to be the the, um, the commander's uh, mech. Then we've got a couple of other mechs which I'll show you in a second. We've got two mechs. We've got three vehicles. So we're gonna. it's going to be a thin start but they are all, they do have all clan gear um, with the accept exception of the inherited mech which could be anything really. It's a, basically a rare mech so I have no idea what it, what it could be. So we've got an okay start. Looks like, I've already had a look at it, looks like all of our vehicles and mechs are long range stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Really quick here, let's go to the settings. And I'll show you what I'm playing on here. So if we go down to difficulty settings here, it took me a couple of times to, to get something that I was happy with. The, the first two before this, um, I don't remember what the first roll was, but it, the, the mechs were a little too strong. I didn't want to go with them. Then the second one, the second roll gave me a Hunchback 2C with a double Ultra 20s on the shoulders. And I'm like, as, as juicy as that mech is to start with, I'm like, I, I can't do it because it's just a little too OP. So what we have actually for our mechs is um, very, I'll show you those in a second. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, so this, the, the company type is Society. This starts you with two mechs and three vehicles. Um, obviously there's a wide variety of starts you can choose from, but we went with society this time. Um, everything else is pretty much normal. All the lower stuff down here. The only thing I changed was the advanced mech warriors. I put the rare. So if we're looking for mech warriors in the, in the actual, um, um, hiring hall, they're all going to, most of them will be basic mech warriors. There'll be a rare chance that we'll get a good one, but most of them won't be. And then the Ronin hire chance is down to 10%, which means we're not going to find a lot of those named pilots. We might every once in a while see one, but, um, we're not going to find them. I have maximum money start because we are actually starting outside of the inner sphere. We're between the clans and the clan homeworlds and the inner sphere. So I need some money to be able to jump in to where we're starting. We're going to start in, in the Rasselhag area. The 10,000 XP for the commander I always do because I always say the commander's got to have more experience than everybody else. So that's the reason why I do that. And then mech warrior progression is slow. I like to develop them slowly over time. So that's the only reason why I did that. And shop selling prices, everything else is normal. Same as down here, everything's normal. So yeah, that's uh, that's the initial settings. We have five parts for mech assembly. I was going to do it as three and I'm like, I like the slow development of stuff. So putting this at five, I think is a nice little balance. It gets us mechs, you know, semi quickly, but not too quickly. So I'm not just constantly rebuilding stuff. So that's the reason why I went with that. Now let's have a quick look at uh, the mech bay. Oh, sorry. We're gonna go quickly go into engineering first, get this thing started. Power systems, always the first start. That gets us the training module and possibility for second mech bay, all that kind of stuff. So that's always my first go to there, mech bay. All right, we'll have a look at these in a second, but in the vehicles, we've got an Ares, 40-ton Ares. The armor is actually not that bad on it. Pair of LRM, Clan LRM-15s and an ER large laser, so the, the, the firepower is actually quite nice for range. Um, and it's also got an Artemis, so those LRMs should hit fairly fairly easily. Then we've got a pair of Zoryas, both of them same, LBX-5, LRM-10. You know, mediocre armor. As long as they're staying at range, keeping the front towards the enemy, they should be okay. Uh, but I got a feeling we'll be moving out of these, I don't want to say relatively quickly, but by the time we get into to a full lance of mediums and stuff, these might slowly become obsolete depending on what we find. Uh, there's also an Artemis system for the LRMs on this as well. So we do have some good long range fire support here with the vehicles because we're going to need it with the mechs that we have. So we have the Griffin 2C here. And if we go into refit real quick, just have a look at it. So the Griffin 2C, I mean, it's a, once again, it's a long range mech. We got the ER large laser in the center torso, and we got four LRM fives with a couple tons of ammo. I want to readjust this guy slightly. I think I'm going to pull out a ton of ammo. 
Oh no, I guess I can't really, because it's only six turns of firing with the four LRMs, so I guess I should keep that. We can find a half ton at some point. So I also got a small ER laser in the head, bunch of jump jets. I'm probably gonna try and keep the jump jets, and I think I'm gonna move the heat sink. Actually, let's do that now. Put the heat sink there, and then, do I want this many jump jets? I think we wanna take out these. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna beef up I think the torso's a little bit, back a little bit, and then we'll dump some into the CT here, uh, and the back, and then maybe one on each arm for a little extra defense, and then one point left, let's just put that CT back, like that, just so we have a little extra armor, um, I got a feeling we're going to need it for staying in fights, seven days, it's fine, oh, we got to do a couple things no. first anyway, so, alright, so our second mech, I really wouldn't call it a mech. Um, the Cephalus, um, this is an interesting kind of mech. It was designed as an anti-missile mech for, I don't know, there's some other heavy mech or something that was was created. But basically it, the design, the original design of this was to have a pair of uh, AMSs that would just protect another, like I think it was an artillery mech or a really slow heavy mech or something like that. But that's what the design of this was. So if we go into the refit and have a look at this, it's kind of an interesting thing. So we've got a taser and a light tag. We don't have an AM, any AM, AMS on this one because it's a variant, but this is a very interesting weapons platform. And the reason why I say that is 25 tons. It's super fast. Like this thing is re redonkulously fast. Like the movement is like 10, 15. So it's really, really fast, right? It's got a triple XL, so we can't lose a side, but with low armor like this anyway, it's like if we get hit by too much, we're, we're dead anyway. But it's make this like a super light 250 core, integrated Nova CEWS, right? So we got some good protection. And with 15 movement, this thing is like, it's gonna generate a crap ton of evasion, especially if we get our pilot with the ability to have a couple of more um, evasion chevrons, that'll be nice. So uh, we've got a taser here, which we can use, reduce the target movement and accuracy for a couple turns. It's got a misfire chance. So I don't know, I mean, we'll probably keep this for a while. I don't know how much ammo we have, how many shots? five shots so we've so yeah it doesn't really give us much that's one and that's five tons so we can replace five tons if we get rid of that this is a half ton right yeah so i mean when i was looking at this the first thing i thought is if we can get a couple of medium x pulses one for each arm um uh, because we got the double heat sink kit on this right i can fire both medium x pulses and then the light tag and if we have something else that we could use uh, I don't know what it would be like we'd have an extra ton left after that. So I don't know something um, It there's a lot of possibilities for this and th this is what the um, fire control system gives it minus 8% weapon heat generated so I mean the other option would be to get a um, uh, Advanced AMS uh, Like a mark II, put it in here use it as just just as an AMS mech and have it like behind the lines Just defending our vehicles or something like that. So that's another possibility so this would be the advanced AMS and a ton of AMS ammo. I mean, we got a chameleon LP, uh, LPS system that can't be replaced. So um, at least we're going to be like remaining hidden. And it's plus 15% weapon heat generated, plus 15 heat percent per turn, minus 10% damage taken. So it's like this thing is actually relatively survivable, I think. Uh, we'll see how it goes in the first few battles. We're going to implement this taser, I think, and have it as a uh, dart in, tase the enemy, the one guy that we want to get and then have everybody else open up on him from range and then have this guy dart back out again. So that's that. Now, um, yep, confirm the unsaved changes. Okay, so um, that being said, this thing kind of looks... I don't know, this this really gives has like a Lovecraftian kind of feel to it, like a Cthulhu-like octopoid kind of feel to it it's like i don't know it's pretty cool looking it'd, it'd be interesting to see what uh, if anything shows up on the arms if we put lasers on the arms but it's like it's just really interesting looking so i thought i'd take that that's kind of cool so and then command center so our pilots that we start with uh, oh sorry barracks not command center we can't do any missions here because they're all red we have to jump off this place so we've got one advanced pilot here. and that's it so everybody else is just like i haven't really gone through them yet so i'm not sure who we're going to keep and who we're going to get rid of but granted is is the um um main pilot here so he's the guy that was uh 
sort of dispossessed from his uh, uh, noble family and stuff. And I think as, if you look at his service record, you see what we've got. We've got Assassin, um, because I took Loner as my second ability, which gives us Called Shot and OP Accuracy plus 15%. Upkeep, upkeep doesn't matter, but at least this will give us some good Called Shots. Uh, it's really going to depend on the mech we get to, though. Uh, we've got Brave as well, um, which improves uh, Panic Resistance, which is nice. Uh, we got Lucky, uh, so Clustering Bonus, which will help if we have any missile weapons. Minus 10% Jam Multiplier, plus 10% Upkeep. No, no big deal on the Upkeep. More no ability as well. So it's not a big deal. Um, and then the Torian Ancestry. Because I took... Wait, wait, why do I have Torian Ancestry? I wonder if that's just a natural thing. Because I chose Rasselhag as where we started. So I guess this is just... I guess I don't have much of an option there. Yeah, I guess I guess there's nothing... Yeah, no big deal. But I, this guy is des de definitely from Rasselhag. So as a as you can see by the guts and tactics increase, so let's have a quick look at the pilots here before we get started. Uh, we're gonna we have to jump, so we have to do a bit of traveling. So we're gonna do that in a second. So we've got a criminal here who's rebellious. It gives us what? Um, I don't know. I have to go look that up. Uh, we've got Iron Claw Mech Pilot. So we need three vehicle pilots for sure. So oh, Pook is a ve hey. really vehicle pilot. Oh, that's really sucky, man. Stability damage taken. He, th This is, like, completely wasted on a vehicle pilot. So I'm going to have to, at some point, go ahead and, like, reallocate all the skills. Actually, I should probably do that right, right now. I don't think I've ever really done that. It's, I think it's shift-click, right? I need to have training 2 module. Ah, okay. So we're going to uh, we're gonna upgrade our skills. So if you shift, shift in Rogue Tech, if you shift-click on the skills... I think you can only do this once. I think it costs 500,000 and you can retrain the pilot once. So once we get that second um, bay, I'm going to make sure to go ahead and do that. Because really the only thing that's of value is this here. Critical strike chance and the clustering roll modifiers. So we're going to probably put her in the Aries. Um, and we've got Good Kelpie go. here. Actually, wait. Iron Claw, what's the service record here? Nobility, Periphery. Commander? Merchant, Periphery, so that's going to help a little bit with Argo costs. Not much. Reduces the Argo upkeep by 5%. Not a big deal. Yep. So we got a, we got a lot of vehicle pilots. It's actually kind of nice to have just dedicated vehicle pilots, because then I can use these ones for mechs. But I, gotta, I want to get rid of a couple of them right now, because we don't need them all. We only need six, including this guy. So we need five pilots and one extra, so six. So we can get rid of one, I guess. Uh, maybe let's just hang on to all of them. So round up, um, cautious periphery. I wanted to try and do a start where I had all of the pilots as nobles, but they were all dispossessed nobles. So, and then they were, they had actually formed a group with Granite here, and um, that was when Granite gets the inheritance and he becomes like commander of the of the group, and they all they form their own mercenary company and stuff. So, um, awaiting orders. So what round up. Need? Let me check her. We did Cautious Periphery, so not a lot going on with a lot of these pilots. Athletic, that's not bad. Bonus health is always good. What's and up, then boss? Whiskey, Honest, which doesn't give us too much, plus one morale. So, I mean, we got really, really super mediocre pilots. I'm going to go through a little later, and we'll change all the uniforms and everybody like I normally do, so we've all got the same one. But for now, let's get moving, because we got to get the hell out of here. Um, actually, let's look at the store really quick before we go. And then I'll show you where we are. So the store, we've got a medium pulse, small X. You know what? I wonder if we... Hmm. SRM Artemis ammo is nice. Ultra Auto Cannon 2. This is cheap. Unlimited. I'm going to buy two of these. Yeah, Only because I don't know available. what we're going to be doing moving forward. And should I buy the small X? It's 300,000 though. It's one ton. This would be see. This is the thing I'm kind of ta I'm talking about for that uh, that cephalus, right? Because it's got a hard point like in every torso. If we get a bunch of these things, because it's so fast, it could just dart in, do a back strike with super accuracy. Like it's just 35 damage, right? For 10 heat, it's got super like close range. But because the cephalus can run 15, it can just run in, shoot, and run out. Uh, you know what? We're gonna buy it. 
If we end up low on money by the time we get to the inner sphere, that's fine. Uh, and then, of course, we got the sh we can't really afford these, but that would kind of be a nice start. Pair of arrows. What's on? What's this guy got? Four LRM 15s. I think I would go for the arrow version. That's only three million more. I mean, why not? All right, uh, and then the hiring hall, of course, we're not going to get anybody, so can't get any of these guys. So we're going to get the hell out of here. we got to get to the inner sphere and start. I know which world we're going to go to, so let's go to navigation. I'll show you where we start here. The Apple may not be fully okay, so we start, like, uh, right here, kind of between clan and uh, inner sphere space. So we're going to be jumping to, is it right here? Susquehanna, yeah, 106 days. So we got to get moving. So let's travel. So that's three months of time. I should be putting... Actually, what, that's what we're going to do here. Hang on one sec. So here's the mech that we get when we start with the inheritance. See what we get. Hopefully it's something half decent, not garbage. Oh, a Talos 1B. Okay, let's take a look. That mech you wanted is back online. LRM5, SR, well, we got SRM6. Okay. Eight and a half tons of armor. Not a lot. So I think it's easy to pilot, which is good. Uh, 50 tons. Let's go to mech bay real quick. So this is the mech that our pilot, our main guy, was piloting. So this is the one he has to pilot to start. So what do we got here? It's interesting looking anyway. A pair of LRM5s, AC-10, and an SRM-6. Okay, well, it is what it is. We got two, three missile hardpoints, which is kind of good, I guess. Armor's not too bad, although the arms are pretty shit. Um, we got the two. We, uh, we our heat sinking is garbage too. Oh no, it's not. Oh, heat sinking's fine. So this is a double load, twenty four shots. That's a little much. If we can find a single load somewhere, we'll swap that out and put a ton of armor back on. But for now, um, we got to do something about this arm over here. I think we just do this for now. And then we'll figure out later. I mean, we might get, we might be able to pick up some stuff here. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. On it. Take a little bit of time, I'll but we got lots of time. time. We got lots of time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think the next thing we want to update is the. Um, yeah, let's let's just go here. So yeah, so we're heading we're heading to Susquehanna. It's a half skull world. We should be able to pull off like Job's done, one and a half skull missions there. If we get some, all right. So that's the mechs done. I think I should probably double check nice those because I always make a mistake. Oh yeah, that was the thing I wanted to do. We want to go here, and I know this doesn't isn't much. So we're paying four four one right now. So we're gonna put these guys into storage. So we're saving 40 grand over three months. It's 120,000. Not a lot, but still, if you're spending time traveling a great distance, complete, that's the thing you want to do is put all your vehicles in storage because it doesn't take much to bring them back. Once you get into the inner sphere or wherever you're going, then you just set them to, to uh, restore hey a couple boss, days before nice you arrive you. and then they're back, right? So we're going to go here first, sure thing. It'll take get some XP for our pilots while we're traveling. Then we'll work on the second mech bay because we don't need it while we're moving here. All right, let's keep going. So the the initial travel time is always a bit of a pain Those here. Upgrades you asked for are online, Thank you. But we're going to get uh, some good time to get the Argo into shape here before we even get at the inner sphere. That, I'll get the crew so in. that money that we started off with, you'll notice these funds are going to drop really, really quickly. Um, so that's why I'm not worried we're starting out with maxi bills because it's just really to get us to where we're going and grab a couple of items. It's not really to like... Hey boss, buy max or any of that stuff. Report. Yep, I know. I could drop this down here, but I don't want to get any bad uh, any bad missions while we're going. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to say too, I just I just kind of discovered this, and I know you. I mean, I, I figured you could do it, but um, I just kind of discovered this. So let's go to engineering first, and then I'll show you here. So we're gonna go here, get the second mech bay working at 100. percent right, I'll get the team on it right away. And I'm happy with the think the mech bay at this point. But if you're traveling like long distances, we'll wait till we get to the next system here. So here's the next system. You pause. You can click hiring hall here. See who's to hire. 
Then you can also click store. There's nothing here. Oh, oh there is actually stuff here. Ooh, large expulse. Seven tons. Shit, I'm almost tempted to go get that. I'm very tempted to go get that. So this is what's at the store for the system, even though we haven't entered system, we can't actually buy it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm not I'm not I'm gonna leave this. I should go get it, but I'm gonna leave it. It's a million and I don't wanna I don't wanna spend too much. So this tells you what's at the system. Then you can just click travel the system if you want to go get it, and you'll leave the jump and head into the system. So every time you jump into a new system. That work order is complete. Thank you. Boss. Thank you very much. Not to work if I may All right, we're so. gonna go down and get some of this. Sure thing. It'll get some morale going. We'll get it done. So every time you jump to a new system, you can just check to see if there's anything in the store that you want. And if there is, you can make your detour. Right? If there's anything... Oops. Yeah, see? We want to change course. I don't want to go to the hiring hall. But yeah, here you go. So now you can get pilots and stuff. So if, you, if you're looking for specific pilots, you can just travel around looking for them if you got the sea bills. But we're looking at the store here. So there's nothing here. Most of these planets on the outside of this, there's nothing. There's maybe a couple of worlds that have some stuff, but we're just going to go right to the inner sphere now. We're not going to bother with this. Pass. I don't know. We, we might do some Solaris stuff. I've never. I haven't done it yet. I haven't done any Solaris missions at all. Those upgrades you asked for are online. Okay. What else we got here? What brings you down here, Commander? The uh, upgraded lounge. We'll take that as well. Commander, I'll get the crew moving. Morale's pretty important. So we're going to be taking those. I don't want to get any bad uh, um, bad random encounters. So I want to try and get that as, uh, nip that in the butt as soon as I can. Plus we got a bit of sea bills and a bit of time to get all those installed, which is nice. Then what I want to do is I'm going to get the structure done so that we don't have all the holes. Ready to go over financials. All right, financial are. report two. I think we got one more before we get there and then we're ready to go. Then we should be able to take a quick mission once we get there, just to see. Uh, we'll take a Haskeller, something really quick. Hopefully, get us a few parts. Hey boss, we've just completed Thank you. those upgrades. Thank you very much. Let's go to engineering. I've got some things to update you. All right, on, I want to get structure done now. Yep. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Just so that our Argo doesn't look like garbage. Yeah, we've got 38 days to go, so we should be almost. Entering Russell Hag space, and then we'll check at the stores there, just to see if there's anything good. So yeah, so the the goal for this series is I'm going to do it different than the last one. We're just going to follow this company all the way through because I'm doing the battle report series, and I got multiple lances there. Top not to work, if I may say. I'm going to be po posting all of the combat that I do for the for that. I'm not going to do the same thing I did for the battle of Lasser, where I kind of do the the status and updates and stuff. It just takes too long. And I'm running multiple series, so it's just too much. But I will post the battles for that. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to do something here. I can't remember. We're going to keep going. But um, yeah, so I was going to do... Um, so we're going to do this as a single uh, unit series, following it from the ground up. Uh, argument draws... Run up starts toward you, red-faced... Ah, Bugsy is slacking off again. We're supposed to share garbage detail, but she share. You want me to share? Sassel. <laughs> Reason we're on clean of duty in the first place. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you're, if you're, anyway, she acts like she's my boss. Just week, just last week, she filed two dozen complaints with the XO and got us both put on garbage detail, and she did it over nothing. Yeah, well, if you're working as a team, then you got to deal with it as a team. If you stop messing up, I'll stop reporting you. Well. Yeah, no, they're not going to work as a team. Bugsy's got rebellious now. All right, fine. Still, they got to work as a team. They got to learn it. They got to learn. If, they don't, if you can't work together, then you can't work at all. All right, let's keep going. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the the battle report series. Um, it's just going to be posting my my combats for that. And there's some of those videos that are up already. It's the uh, battle report, Lockdale. We're fighting on a lunar world, so it's kind of tough. All the battles are lunar battles, so it's pretty interesting. One of my, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but one of my units got completely mauled. Uh, it's a medium lance, but 
I ended up drawing um, five Nidhogs, a Crusader, a Catapult, and a uh, Pirate. Um, what was it now? Was it a Marsden? No. Yeah, I was. It was a pirate vehicle, anyway. Anyway, they. Um, yeah, they mauled that lance. I lost both of my vehicles. I lost two mechs, um, and four pilots. Four pilots died because it was on a lunar environment, right? So, yeah, it was like really, really bad. Okay, sure, so we're gonna ready we'll these see that it's prepped and ready. now. It takes. I don't know why. Like the Dive. vehicles are all. Shouldn't be long already we'll outfit but for some reason it takes a day for each one to get back even though a mech takes like a zero time but I guess it's because you gotta like load the mech out once it comes back in so I don't know anyway it takes a day so just make sure you bring the vehicles back before you arrive at the planet oh uh, right engineering that was what I messed up on okay so now that we got this we've got the structure um, if I want training module B, I got to go have pod B. And I think I'm going to do that now because it's, it is a bit Should pricey. Be. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. It's a bit pricey, but it's going to put us our dollar value kind of where I want it to start with. Um, so let's get into the planet now. Got all our vehicles ready that to go. Thank you. Is complete. So the have pod will be up one day after we arrive, which is good. Then we can get training module two going. Um, oh man, triple F burgers. Let's sell them. Ah, gain 10 grand, beautiful. That'll like contribute, I don't know what to our, you know what, that'll be the, uh, the, the money we have for the party in the lounge on that one. <laughs> if we get that one, uh, I can't remember what it was. There's a, uh, one of the, uh, the positive ones is you can have a potty, a, a, a potty, a party in the lounge. All right, so bolt-on rocket five. Well, there, there I just bought our bolt-on rockets. Systems. Remote okay. sensors, yes. Anything that we can attach to our uh, max here, because it's free. IFF jammer Mark One. I'm not going to buy that. A little pricey. Uh, SRM counter missile ammo. We're going to hold off on that. We got an SRM four here. I'm wondering if we swap out. One of the LRM fives on the Talos for the SRM. At least we can get an AC ten if we lose our AC ten here. Quick sell stuff. Uh, let's just see what we got. All right, so let's go to our mech bay real quick before we take a mission here. We gotta check our pilots too. So uh, let's put on the Griffin. We're gonna put in the remote sensors. Because this guy's going to be shooting at range, so he can drop the sensors in at range. I can't remember what the... Uh, yeah, 690 meters. That's pretty good. So we're going to validate that. Confirm it. Right. And then I think... I think we're going to put the... I mean, it doesn't make that much difference. We'll put the bolt-on rockets here. Give us a little extra punch. Not much, but Rod I mean, at least two days? Too hard. Jeez, really? Really? All right. Well, there's our beta pod upgrade. You asked for? And or then I'm let's go and get our uh, training module two. 256,000. Beautiful. I'll get the crew so we should be able to, hopefully before the end of, that's uh, 500,000. We'll see. We might be able to get that pilot updated by the end of today. We're going to take a mission right when these guys get fixed, though. All right, here we go. Uh, barracks first. Let's have a look at our pilots. I'll worry about getting these guys' uniforms later. Let's decide. So our commander... So we're ballistic. We're going to go fours across the board to start. Since we're ballistic and we have good OP accuracy, I think we're going to go focus fire for the reduced recoil and improved cold shot modifier. I think that's a no-brainer, and then we can't do anything else. Training complete. Okay, now, uh, oh, no. Puka, I think we want to go double tactics just so that you can see things a little better. Not much we can do else, 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 else wise anyway. So you're our vehicle leader. You'll be in the Aries. And then we've got Roundup, I'm here. also a vehicle pilot, which we need to get you up. Bring your gunnery skill up. 
Mech warrior training complete. Then we got to use somebody else here. You start with gunnery three. So let's start you off as well and go with tactics because you're going to be a vehicle pilot. Training complete. And now our mech pilots. We need two half decent mech pilots. Somebody that can pilot really well. Reporting. And then somebody that's got half decent gunnery. So, man, really? Waiting on you, Commander. Well, okay. So you're going to pilot the Griffin. Training confirmed, Commander. And I might change their names as well, because I'm not really 100% thrilled with some of the names here. But um, And then I think you, you're the best pilot, so we're going to put you there and there, I think. It's going to be a slow start to get to get XP, but that's fine. Complete. All right, so now we know who's now we've got sorted who's what, and let's go to the command center and find out what we got here. So it's a half skull world. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, this should be actually this is a one skull battle. Surviving Rasselhag and Lance. So we don't want to take any battles against Rasselhag because we want to build up our status with Rasselhag. So this is escort in the jungle. Okay, the, this is, we'll take that for the neck for next time because this one's going a little long. Let's grab this, escorting a heavy air, a assets a little much. Destroy base in an urban environment, perfect. Against the Draconis Combine and lots of salvage. So we're gonna take this one. And we're gonna max out our salvage because we need it. And see see if we can destroy a base here. So we got our Talos, our Griffin, Cephalus, the Ares, and the two Zoria. Just enough to fit in here. All right, we got granite. Then we got uh, you are going to be the Griffin pilot, and we got um, where are you here? Thud for the Cephalus. Yeah, I got I got to change the names. I'll find better names. We got Puka. Puka is in the Aries, and then we've got uh, it doesn't really matter who's what. We'll put Roundup, the dedicated vehicle pilot, as the commander, and then the mech vehicle pilot as the secondary. And I think that's how we're going to go. Let's do this. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Destroying a base. we got to figure out where it is first, though. Uh, where? Are they just going to drop us in, or we got... Okay, move in, engage base. This is probably going to be turrets. Means we got to get into direct line of sight. Um, where are we here? Base is right there. So this is the edge. That's the edge. So it's kind of against the back wall. We could start north of it. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to come down here. It gives us a bit of ability to hide from turrets, I think. We might be able to use this against the enemy. Although, we could come down this way. Where are the turrets? Right there? Here? Maybe there? So it looks like there's two on this side, here and here. So if we come this way, they're going to be in direct line of sight of us. Which I don't like. Although they are up high enough, they might be uh, able to shoot us over here too. No, because this building could be in the way. And this guy mm, is going to shoot over this building and so is this one. So either way we're facing two turrets. Unless we start like in here. Although we got the range though. That's the thing. We have range, right? Oh, the enemy's like right here. Hmm. And we do attack this direction, I think. I mean, if they've got... If it's artillery they've got, then we're in trouble, but... Um, we're going to go this way. So Talos, Griffin, and our Cephalus can start over here. Ares and the Parazorias back here. Not much of a difference, but at least we got a bit of speed at a bit of evasion. So they should have four turrets plus a lance of vehicles or mechs or whatever. Probably going to be vehicles, I'm guessing. Roads and concrete make for good traction. It sure does. Roads and concrete. Good traction. It ain't that good. Don't know if you've ever tried to run hardcore on concrete and 
concrete can be very slippery too, especially if it's hot. If you've never seen the video, <laughs> if you've never seen the videos of the uh, guys in, I believe it's Saudi Arabia, that go road road skating. Go check it out, because I guess the the roads there are really oily. So in the Hold summertime, um, the roadways are very very slick. So what they do is they'll drive on the highway, they open the door, and they step out, and I guess you can kind of like slide and run across the road, and and they'll they'll hang onto the door and do this like road skating while they're hanging onto the car going ridiculously fast on the highway. So that was a walk. That wasn't a run. So we got lots of speed on Taserface up there. I'm going to call that guy Taserface, by the way. I decided on the way in. So it's not going to be Thud. It's going to be Taserface. Uh, so Aries. We, I don't even think we need to go that far, do we? Oi! Give me some movement. Ooh, that was attack. Let's just get the one turret first, and it's lagging. Here we go. So that's the second one. We want to stay here. That gives us the turret. That's the turret. Where's the... Yeah, that turret's going to see down this road. That's, that's a perfect placing for that turret. Alright, no big deal. Let's just move up, take shots at this turret. Affirmative. Not sure when we're going to encounter their, uh, their their units, but we'll take first shot at this guy. So we've just got... Sta oh, i got Standard and Artemis. Okay, beautiful. Coolant vent. Yeah, we're really going to need that. Ooh, large laser hit. Let's pop this thing like a zit. Looks like it's a dual gun, probably a pair of AC-2s. Could be Ultra 2s, don't know. Let's get in front of the Ares. Add a bit of spaced armor. And... Yeah, just the LRM-5s, I guess, taking the shot at this guy. Roger that. Christ, the vehicle's better than I am. Oh, we got a mech here. Wasp. Yeah, so the one thing I was going to say is, because, um... We're starting off with like all clan you. gear. We've, I mean, we've only got a handful of mechs and stuff, so it's not like we're, it's like we're too overpowered. We've kind of just got just enough. Um, but as we start to lose clan gear, it's going to be really hard to replace it because it's. I'm finding it's very difficult to find clan stuff in the inner sphere. So uh, we're going to have to rely on whatever we can pick up off the battlefield. Yeah, we'll fire it all. Roger that. This was good like that. Target. Nice. Lasers hitting. As long as the lasers keep hitting, I'm happy. This battle should finish up yeah. pretty quickly once we get these uh, these turrets down. All right, we don't want to go too far. Let's move. Let's move in a little bit. So this guy's probably going to get some shots off. We're going to go cluster, of course. Wow, more LRMs hit them than the. Uh, Cluster rounds. That hit something important. Shit. Hit me in the back, really? Standing by. God damn it. Don't you don't shoot me in the back. We need we need good pilots, is what we need. <laughs> like how did you how, whatever. Alright. Couple more hits. We still haven't even got to the internal armor yet. Ah, uh, shooting at me, so don't know if that was a two or what that was. We got a falcon and a wasp so far. Let's take advantage of this. Commander. Ah, shit. It's taser face. Uh, let's reserve you. The sad thing is, is if I'm going to call this pilot taser face, ah, you're going to move away from it. Oh, well. If, I was, if I'm going to call that pilot taser I face, you? I kind of have to like leave the taser on the mech. Or at least use it on the mechs in the future. Uh, that puts me in sight of that turret. Do I really care about this? I mean, I do. He's looking to melee is what he's doing. Fucking 
Aloe shot in the back. Like, if it, did it have to be the CT? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, that's a generator. Good thing I spotted that. Um, okay, let's back up here. This guy's got at least another turn before he gets to us. I'm gonna put this down as well. Take this. Okay, laser's a miss. It's gonna be slow oh, starting. No. I'm okay with that. Let's not shoot me in the back. Going after this guy. Let's make him think twice about moving forward. Ready for orders. Okay, let's move into here. On my way. Uh, alright. Sure. It's, we're gonna, it's gonna be so long before we actually get good... Like, we gotta get targeting computers and everything and... Yes, Commander. Et cetera, et cetera. You have no use at the moment. So let's get you... Over here. That's just the buildings that I'm seeing. So we'll just see how much evasion we can generate here. We're gonna get four, I think. Five, six, two, four, six. So, yeah. Let's just target the large military building with the tag and fire for one Enemy point of damage. Damage, Commander. <laughs> Every point counts. Uh, okay, I probably should have used the tag on the uh, guy over here, but just gonna back up over here. Confirmed. I don't know if those things are AC two. Uh, Two's back there. I, I'm, I was guessing that they were, but they might not be. The shot. They, may fi they may be fives. What do you need? I need you just to shoot this guy. Just shoot him. Damn it. Alright, what are they doing? He's going on 11. Orders? Come up to this guy with the taser. He's looking at melee. That's the thing. As I, I know he's looking at melee. I think we gotta find if there's any more than just these two mechs. I'm sure there is. We're gonna come back here. And then we're gonna head off to the right side. Make sure you get all the street lights. Look at this thing. It's so ridiculous looking. But at least, it, I mean, I don't want to say it can't be hit. It's going to be really tough to hit it. Let's see what this guy's doing. God, our initiative is so bad. I forgot I forgot about how bad it was when you when you first start out, how, how hard it is to get... Where are you going? Oh, you're going to make it a double shot, are you? Hey. Hey. I got to target that thing. Uh, we need to move. We need to move. That should give me it right there. There we go. Explosion warning. Do I want to use you for that, though? You got more guns. That's the thing. I don't want to waste the big, big shot in that. Let's go with, uh... Come on. I'm escaping out of there. Hello? Oh, because I've already moved. <sighs> right. Durr. I'm like, why can't I target? Um. No, fuck it. Let's go for the building. We're here now. Locking in target. Oh, we hit the mech. <laughs> Come on, blow up. Yeah, totally worth it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we lost both of his arms. His whole back is ripped apart. His torso is gone. What happened to this guy? Anything? Not much. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, it's always worth it. Always worth it. Okay, I want to get you. 
here. No need to tell me twice. I think we're gonna get the vehicles to uh, finish this guy off. Actually, should I go with for overheating? That's the problem. I want to pull this down. Let's go after the turret. We've got firepower with this guy. Actually, let's leave this off for now. Not gonna need a sensor on the turret. Nice. We get him. We got him. Beautiful. That turret is gone. You bet. Now we can f follow up. Actually, we're gonna reserve. Ooh, Bugsy goes next. Ah, uh, commander. Don't even move. Why? What are we obscured by? What is obs? Oh, the other. Oh, our vehicle. Okay. I thought I was looking at this guy, but I wasn't. Move on this side. Moving to position. There we go. See if we can bring this guy down. Or at least get him to punch out. I'll take the kill. It's fine. One less target. You got that right. I'm here. Uh, we're going to reserve you. Because I don't want to be shot in the back again. Thank you. Yeah. Round up. Go use some round up on this guy. I don't think this turret. Don't know if those are rockets or what they are. Regardless, though, I think we should target the turret more sure than the wasp. Attacking from position. Nice. Didn't quite get past the armor, but landed the shot. What the, it's the important part. Right, gotta remember that thing's there. Now that our vehicles are shot, we can On move out way. here. <laughs> Not get shot in the back. So that's just the AC-10 and Paraveller M5s. Actually, pretty good chance on this guy. So let's take it, see if we can just smash this wasp here. Right. I'm getting the sense that these... Oh, they got one more vehicle somewhere. I was gonna say, I'm getting the sense that it might have just been these two, but... Oh, it's Intersphere Standard. Really? Commander. There should be a little command that gets those guys taken out of the battle. This guy's completely useless this fight. Except for the tag. Well, my wife, That's why I want to get on. some lasers on this. Like, the taser's nice. But it's only good if I can get more stuff on here. Because it's, it's of limited use in fights like this. Locking on. Alright, two points of damage to the buildings. Nice. I hear ya. Got past the armor. Uh, let's cool off this turn. I'm gonna back up here. Right, Commander. I know we're playing the long game at the moment, but it's really all we can do. Got it. Hit this turret, drop some heat, then we can move out and attack. What no? Alright. Can push forward with these guys though, so let's do that. Get some evasion. I think these are rocket launchers. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I get the feeling I that they are, which means I think we're probably just at max range for them. But if we can claim them this this turn, I think hit, get rid of them. Then we've got our whole side Orders. opened up here for us. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to actually move in the trees though because I got a feeling if that guy's going to shoot, he's going to shoot at me. So we'll give him a target, but we'll get some armor. Uh, I'm going to leave that for the Zorias, I think. And where's the wasp? Yeah, that's what I want to do. No. 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 Mag shot cannon, eh? All right, well, we got to be careful of that thing. I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Love it when the big ones hit. I think I hit something good. Uh, I think he's still, he's still medium lasers in the other arm, yeah. Waiting for orders. Let's get that turret kill, please. Turret's far more of a threat than one medium laser is. And while that wasp could probably... Can I... Just click on the turret from here. I can't. Oh, it's a streak turret. Probably all streak twos, maybe? Right. 
Nice. That might be an option, though. That turret is gone. Thinking if we want to go like a closer in build. I'd have to up the engine on the Talos, though. We could go three streaks. The AC. And then something. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think the Talos has got a little bit of potential. I mean, it's not obviously not as good as the Clan Max are, but still, we got a bit of potential. Okay, you're back up into there, are you? Not like you have to worry about heat. Yep. All right, let's get into here. We can start pushing now. I'll do what I can. We can start pushing now. That inner sphere standard is going to be really hard to hit. Firing. Like if we're having this much problems hitting these guys, it's going to take forever to kill that standard. I, w I wish I could remove battle armor from the game. Yes, Commander. There, I mean, battle armor is interesting, but it's not like it's like amazing in my eyes. If they just move too slow, and yeah, they're hard to hit, but it just just they're for me they're more annoying than anything else. All right, let's see if we can get the taser on this guy. Giving us everything I've got. Nope. Tags on though. That's a bonus. That's three tag hits already. Nice. So this was a mag shot cannon. That would be a nice replacement for the uh, AC-10 if we can get it with some ammo. You got Rex laser, one Rex laser, small Rex laser, so that turret's easy to kill. This one's going to be like, we got to like not be in direct line of sight because that thing does 70 damage. Harpoons and shotguns, okay. Definitely a close range. I'm here. All right, let's put some missiles in this guy's face here. See if we can pull this guy down. Nope. Not going to get the spots we want. I'm glad, though, that Falcon took that massive damage from this thing. That certainly really helped taking him down. I hate it when you're trying to fight a mech and you can't hit it and it takes forever to kill it. But the thing can't do anything back so it's just like this dance back and forth of no damage. Oh. Interesting. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. We're coming for you. We are coming for you. I want to make sure we get all the building or all the uh, turrets in this thing. It's, it looks like it's going to be our only chance for good salvage. Target's taking a critical hit. Not worried about grabbing mech parts at this point Better. because these mechs aren't really anything I want to put together. Oof, really. Okay, let's go here. Target you. Gonna leave these guys off. Wow, really? How hot? Really? Sure. Nice. SRMs are out. Yes. What can I do for now you? Now we can focus on those buildings. Uh, let's sprint it. I was gonna jump up, but there's no point. Got Just adds it. extra Back heat. Speed, no shooting. Just adding that extra heat that we don't need at this point. All right, let's target the building that we did some damage to already. <laughs> Fire. Tell me what to shoot. How many have we got to kill? Three of them? All right, that should be no problem. Yeah. This inner sphere standard stands no got chance. It. No shooting, just running. Stands no chance. Take this building down. That should do it. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Order. And then, Mummy, they showed up and attacked us. They destroyed all the buildings. Ooh. Taser face. Moving out. 
just watched Hawkeye the other night. First two episodes. It's actually not that bad. The girl's uh, origin story is kind of interesting. Oh, taser hit. That's nice. <laughs> He's going to move even less now. That whole one hex. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Get a participation trophy. I hear you. I got your trophy right here. Going through the sensors, but what no can we do? I don't know if the sensors affect the enemy or like if it actually helps these guys out or what. I'm just putting the sensors on just to hopefully we can get an extra bonus to hit on this guy at some point. He's not so stealthy. Hey. Okay, let's get the fast guys moving first. Actually, I just want to move. I don't want to... I don't want to uh, decrease my chance to hit if I don't have to. All right, firing. Copy that. Firing At least these guys don't have hard gel. What do you need? At least they don't have hard gel. Looking out. Man, we need a double heat sink kit. Yeah, commander. It said it ran cool. I don't know why this thing is running so hot. Gotta make sure we're not uh, behind anybody. We've already had one mishap today. Can't have another. Yeah, see, the chance to hit is just so bad. That's why I don't mind having the uh, the splash damage weapons. Because at least with those, you get more of a chance to hit. At least we're continuously hitting and doing damage rather than continuously missing with like direct fire stuff. Uh, we got one one missile on there. Commander. Let's put a tag on two. Not gonna just stand there and let that guy shoot at me. Let's put a tag on the medium building. Sure. Firing. Wow, you missed? Really? Failed to connect. I guess as your chance to hit goes up, the actual ability for you to hit goes down. Yep. Trying to land those harpoon shots. Protecting his vulnerable side, are you? Gonna go standard. I want to save my Artemis for that Goss turret. There we go. Let's see if we can kill this guy. I always love it when they turn their side to me. But that hurts. It's Standing base, by. That basically just says, here, I'm giving you my, uh... I'm securing my death for you. We're not gonna fire. We need the speed here, so I'm gonna just, uh... Drop some heat. What can I do for you? Attack this guy. Leave the large off. Wow, that's the small. Oh, sorry. I was like, why <laughs> is it only so little? Uh, don't need the sensors anymore. Oh, we might as well use them because we can't use them on anything else. You betcha. Not that it matters. They landed up there. Okay. Orders. Next. Next time I'll get you moving fast, and then maybe you'll land them. All right. Uh, what is it with st slug 43? Let's go cluster. There we go. Nice. Let's get these turrets now. This was supposed to be a fast mission, man. Yep. Supposed to be a fast mission. And while we're going after the turrets, we'll also go after this. Acknowledge. Gonna have to get to a point. Where we are all able to shoot at the same time. So let's get you back here. It's going to be a couple turns before we're there. Get you around here. Yes, Commander. You're not going to shoot. Actually, can we just fire the uh, AC 10 and still lose heat? No, we can't fire anything in loose heat. Why is that? Oh, because our engine is damaged. 
That's what it is. I'm like, why are we not dropping heat? Engine's damaged. Right. Durr. Fire. There we go. Excellent. Waiting on you, Commander. So I have to jump with four jump jets, eh? Jump of four. Not too bad, I guess. Get over here. Pedal to the metal. Hit sorry, I'm gonna start hitting this gauze turret now. Might as well try and do a little bit of damage to it before we get there. Special delivery. Gotta watch my ammo though. We only got four turns of firing now after that. Hey. Hey. Glad these vehicles have got speed though. I mean they're not super fast, but at least they can keep up with mediums. You know? Uh, we're using standard ammo, correct? Good, we'll save the Ar Artemis from way of direct fire. Maximize the damage. What's up, boss? We might be able to kill these without the Talos over no there. Just running. Save the Talos for the buildings, I guess. Man, that really sucks, that engine hit. Definitely gonna have to increase the armor. Okay, yeah. round up. Confirm. So I'm gonna use these four to go after that uh, that turret right after this. We should have enough Roger. firepower at this range to be able to smoke that turret. So we're gonna take the turret this turn. Order. Full speed sounds good. Uh huh. On the move. Speed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and target this with the tag, even though it looks like the tag's already on there. It's interesting. Might as well shoot it with the taser too. Does 22 damage, eh? That's not bad. Copy that. Nice. What can I do for you? All right, let's take this turret. We're gonna walk it. Since we're long range, that should be fine for a range bracket. Yeah, not bad. Okay, fire everything. Okay, both the lasers hit. Ooh, that's all we needed. Went faster Target than I destroyed. thought it would. I guess because we softened it up. Good to go. Uh, we're gonna reserve you. Can we get to see this other turret, though? Finish this up as quick as possible. Oh we can. Boy, here we go. Here we go. Stop complaining. Just be happy you've got a vehicle to, to pilot and enjoy. Oh, he missed the friggin' laser shot. Really? Okay, reserve that one. Reserving action. Reserve again. I got a feeling we'll pull that building down if we shoot at it. So let's just Confirm. get these guys in and try and do their job first. Get this last turret down, maximize our uh, payment on this. Aye, aye. Engaging Scored a critical hit. Yeah, Commander. All right, Bugsy, get the hell in here. Oops, not there. That's better. Going full throttle. Don't want those partially obscured shots. Yeah, man, we got our vehicles doing more work than the, uh... That's potential for more damage overall. Vehicles doing more work than the mechs are. <laughs> I love that laugh. Nice. Alright, time to finish this up and go home. Yeah. Um... Do this. See if we can finish the turret up. Target. Yep. There we go. Nice. One less turret. All right. Let's finish this building off and get the hell out of here. Target confirmed. Uh, it's so bad that the that the uh, worst damage that we take is from our own guys. Oh, no. What now? Stop fucking complaining. 
Copy. What now? What do you mean, what now? There we go. There you go. Let's go home. Just drop here. Mission successful. All right, we made four grand. <laughs> really? I guess because of our drop costs. Our drop costs are exorbitant. I guess. I don't really care about the money. I was. What's the salvage I want? All right. So we did take an. Yeah, we did take an engine hit. Okay, it's good to know that it, it's not the actual uh, mech that's the problem. It's getting shot in the back that's the problem. All right, small Rex laser. So that's kind of like an X-Pulse, right? Does more damage to armor and less damage to structure. Fall off. So that's actually not that bad. Got streak twos. One and a half tons of pop. And that's pretty much it. Wow, so they were AC5s in that turret. Okay, well, um, I don't know what <laughs> the salvage is like. We'll take this, we'll take this, we'll take this. We'll take the medium laser. Uh, how much is this worth? Nothing really. I mean, we're going to get a lot of this stuff in the roll anyway. Let's just take the cores so we can just sell them if we have to. Or should I take some heat sinks? You know what? I'm gonna take a couple of heat sinks because Talos might require them at some point. You know what? What we should get some in the roll. Let's go for the C bills. Okay, that was. Oh, we got all. We got all the parts. All right. Some stuff we can just immediately sell here. We're not going to need the machine gun. Armor can go. Cockpit can go. We're going to sell the cores. That can go. We did get two heat sinks. Sell that. Now we do have some jump jets on us, but we got two, right? So that'll give us eight. So we'll keep those. Sensor basics can go. I'm going to keep the standard core in case somehow we get an obsolete. Actually, you know what? Forget it. We'll just sell it. Sell it now. Keep the ammo, though. All right. That's, that's fine. All right, almost nothing for uh, repairs. Oops, I guess I should repair that now. Welcome Although we got to, you know what we have to do though? We have to go in, um, I think we can just, it was all back damage, right? We can repair all, and then, yeah, because we never got hit in the front. Then it's just replacing the back armor. I guess it gets it done all in one shot. Now we could do, I didn't get any streak ammo, so not, not like I can actually replace this. And we don't actually have any laser hard points, which is an issue. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I'm going to move the heat sinks out of the core, too, to the legs. I think that's fine. Sure. And we'll get that fixed up. Now, I don't think... I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, we want to keep the taser on this for a bit. I want to get I want to get some use out of that before we do anything else. So we'll keep the taser on that. All right, so I'm going to end this first episode here, guys. It's probably a little longer than I expected, but um, it is what it is. And as we move forward, we'll just take some missions. We're going to develop this uh, lance or this uh, company from the ground up. I'm going to call it, call it the Ghost Kitties. I don't know why I called it the Ghost Kitties, but that's what it's called. Um, so, yeah, we're going to... Uh, um, Develop this from the ground up. We're gonna go right to to the end. See what we can get. I'm gonna try and stick with the the three mech and three vehicle line for quite a while here to see how far we can push it, and then um, we'll expand the uh, buy the junk cargo and expand and and get uh, um, more mech slots and stuff. So I mean we could we, we could run with with four mechs, but I'd rather try and go with the three and three. But we'll see how it goes. All right, end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.